Hi guys, I'm your average frag and victor and today we will be looking at a fragrance from the House of Galleria Perfumes which is Ashton's of Jensen's fragrances and that is Dust to Dawn. So let's get right into it. Special thanks to my good friend Nas for letting me borrow this bottle for the review. The nose behind this is Bertrand de Chauffeur and this is marketed as a unisex fragrance. This was released the year 2020, available for 100ml bottle, extra tip of home concentration and priced at $205. This came with a tall rectangular black box with gold accent on it. You got the name of the fragrance, concentration, the house and the size in front which are a bit raised along with the black logo of Galeria perfumes all around. These are a bit embossed and can be felt in your fingers. You get some interesting facts about Galeria perfumes at the back and the ingredient information as well as the date of manufactured and date of expiration at the bottom. Opening this box reveals another box inside that has a textured surface and made from a solid cardboard. You get the name of house and their logo in front as well as on the top. The base is also printed in gold as well to continue the black and gold theme. This slides upward revealing the card with a picture of a well-dressed guy with their website below. At the back of this has the name the fragrance, concentration, the perfumer, and the notes breakdown. And finally, we get into the bottle which is seated in the silk cloth with foamy materials underneath. The bottle is a tall but slim colored copper cylindrical shape made in this frosted glass on top and it will transition around near the bottom to a clear one, which is a subtle but a nice touch. You can actually feel the texture becoming smoother as you run your fingers through it. Though this is a 100ml bottle, they still made this pretty slim that can easily sit well in your hand. It has a good thick glass base but the weight of it is not overly heavy or light. The cap is made with metal with a plastic interior. This has a really good weight behind it and this doesn't click into place but it is a snug fit and some of this bottle can be picked up from the cap and some don't so be very mindful of this. This has an excellent pressurized automizer and you can easily control its distribution. And this lets out a straight but a bit wide mist. This opens up fresh coming from the bergamot and pomelo which is also giving off a bitter smell to the scent with that spicy characteristic from the cardamom. There is also a bit sweet and herbaceous smell to it coming from the clary sage. The overall smell of the opening is not entirely fresh like what you usually find in some citrus based fragrances but rather there is this touch of sophistication and a bit of maturity on it which captured the vibe in the card really well. After an hour, you will get more floral out of the scent coming from the Cyclamen and Puny, but this floral note doesn't come across feminine but rather very clean and fresh. You also get the leather in the background as well. The leather in here is not the animalic kind but a very wearable one, and it is very light and it's just in the background. This is also being compared to African leather from the House of Memo Paris, I'm assuming because of the leather note here. While it does have a bit of familiarity, the leather in Dust to Dawn is lighter as it is just in the background and the floral and freshness side of this is much more prominent than the leather. In the far dry down, this developed into a woody scent coming from the cedar and there is also a bit sweet and warm coming from the burn and vanilla. You also get ambergris as well. This has a great performance, good projection for the first 2 hours and it lasted on my skin for more than 8 hours. Spraying on your clothes will definitely push that a bit longer. Not a super versatile fragrance overall as this will work best in cooler weather environment in the month of fall and winter. You can still pull this off in spring though. But this will work best on dress up occasion as you get that sophistication to the smell. Great as a work scent or for those formal gatherings. This is one of those scents that may not be overly mass appealing, especially for those who are used to youthful smell or super sweet scent, as this has a bit of maturity to it. That being said, this is still not considered as a daring fragrance, which can be off-putting to the people around you when you wear it. Definitely a great gift idea, it has a really well thought out presentation and premium materials are also present in here, from the cap, build of the bottle, and even the sprayer, just to be willing to pay that premium price tag. A solid fragrance overall, it has that high-end sophistication smell to it and this is one of the scent in the line that it's not overly mass appealing but it still has a lot going for it. It will work really great in those stress applications. While this is being compared to African leather, I find this easier to wear as the leather in here is just in the background and this is more a floral fresh 
kind of a fragrance. If that is your interest, this is definitely worth checking out. Please consider pressing the like button as it really helps the channel a lot and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. This has been your Average Fraghead, signing off.